everybody, this is Shannon from the theirishscrapper.blogspot.com and today we are going to be making this card um, using Melon Mambo, Whisper White, and Basic Black. So let's go ahead and get started. We are going to start with a piece of Melon Mambo and this is cut at 8.5 by 5.5, scored at 4 and a quarter. I've already pre-cut uh, a piece of Whisper White and this is cut at four by five and a quarter and we are going to use our Big Shot to emboss this piece with our Elegant Dots embossing folder. So let me grab the Big Shot for you. Hopefully you can see this. And I just have the regular platform in here so I have it on tab one. And I have my first plate uh, down. Let me angle you up a little bit. There you go. Okay, so what I've done with the Whisper White is I have not embossed the whole piece. I've actually stopped about, I don't know, an inch and a half up. So I'm just going to eyeball that. So when I take my embossing folder, I am going to leave that amount hanging out of the bottom of the folder. So let me just make sure I have this straight. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to put that down, put my sandwich plate on top, and let me try to do this. It's going towards the camera, sorry. Let me set that aside for a second. Okay, so you can see now we have this plain um, unembossed area at the bottom of our Whisper White. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and do the butterfly. So I will bring the big shot back. Let me get my magnetic plate. So here we have our magnetic plate and our sandwich plate. And I just have a piece of basic black cardstock here, and it's not measured to any particular size, it just fits the thinlet. So I have the large butterfly thinlet out of the butterfly, butterfly thinlet set. So we'll go ahead and run that through. And I'm going to run it through twice, so I'm going to go once, and then I'm going to go backwards one more time to get that cut. Just because this one has a lot of the little intricate pieces. Alright, so there we go. Now I don't have the um, die brush yet, which would be perfect for this, so I'm just going to poke these with my little stylist here to get most of those pieces out. which is pretty quick, just takes a couple minutes here. This will pop right off and I'll just move this aside. And I actually just have one more left, so that was pretty good. Okay, so we'll go ahead and assemble the card. Bring you back down a little bit. I hope I got all of that. Um, so what I've done is I have um, some Stacked with Love washi tape, and I'm going to go ahead and put a piece of this just along that embossed edge. Make sure I'm straight here. Okay, and then I'll tear that, and then we'll just fold that around the back. And then we can get it that adhered down to the front of our card. So I'm going to use some fast fuse. Yikes. I almost tore that. One more. And since this is embossed, I'm going around all of the edges. I think I'll put a little bit more in the middle. 
Okay. And we'll get this set down in the center of our card. Very good. So while I have the card laid flat, I think we'll go ahead and do our stamping. Um, so we're going to start with the Melon Mambo. And I am using uh, Beautiful from Stampin' Up's Flower Patch set. So the sentiment right here, which I think is cute. So we're going to go ahead and ink that up in the Melon Mambo. a little over a little bit more that looks good and then I'm just going to center that here below the washi tape perfect okay so I'm going to clean my stamp and then I'm also going to stamp on the back of the card and I'm going to stamp um, with this stamp that says Made Just For You from the Creatively Yours uh, stamp set. I just like the little um, detail around this one. And we'll stamp that in the archival black. So we'll go ahead and ink that up. That looks good. And get that stamped in the center. Perfect. Okay, and then we're ready to lay down our butterfly, and then we'll be done. Um, so for the butterfly, I just took some glue dots and put along the center of the butterfly. Here they are. Where did I put those? Let me peel a couple of those off. I think I used three on the first one. That seemed to work fine. Oops. So we'll peel the backs. Okay. And then I just bent the feathers up a little bit. Just to give it like that 3D effect. And you can lay it wherever you'd like. And I think that looks good. So here are our two projects. And I love them. I think if you wanted to do some bling, you could put some rhinestones or candy dots. I thought about that too, but I like it that it's just simple and clean. And that's what we have for today's project. So I thank you for watching, and I hope to be back with you real soon. Thanks so much. Bye.